The window dressers returned to Arlington on Friday, October 21st, setting up shop this year at the American Legion Hall to build more than 260 insulating window inserts that help keep the heat inside your home, rather than allowing it to slip out through windows that can potentially leak that warmth. When that happens, that means more expense for home heating, at a time when heating oil or heating gas is anticipated to rise sharply in cost this winter, forcing a choice around spending more money or living with less comfort in a chillier house. The Arlington build-out was one of two held in Bennington County this month. Another was held earlier in Bennington. The window dressers builders, community volunteers coupled with those who ordered some of the inserts, are planning to keep assembling them at the Legion Hall until October 26th. Measurements are taken of the window size and then sent to the window dressers headquarters in Rockland, Maine, where the idea for building the window inserts using community volunteers originated in 2010. The wood frames are cut and then sent to the location where the build is going to happen, where the frames are assembled and then finished off. Then they are sent back to the community that ordered them, in this case, Arlington and the rest of the Northshire and Bennington County, where the plastic covers are installed and the inserts are finished. It's the last step. Last step is always the best step. So you're yeah. putting the uh, what? The final tape in? Is that what's final going? foam around the edge that seals the window and keeps all the air out and all the heat in. And that edge is done. One more edge for this. Flip it around. We set it next to here so we can see how far we need to go. Drag the foam down. It's so simple, even I can do it. Jim Salsgiver of Dorset, one of the organizers of the local window dresser group, described how it all worked. Um, the folks up in Maine started this whole project. So when we, when we uh, put in the orders, we go out and measure at people's homes. So we make sure that these will actually perfectly fit their windows. And we send those measurements off to Maine. They send us the wood, just the slats of wood that'll create the, and plus the other materials to do it. They send us the wood. We assemble the frames from this. So this frame is four pieces of wood. We screw and glue those together. Then we add a side of plastic on one side, a side of plastic on the other side, tape it all together, and add the, add, uh, the foam insulation on the outside. So the cool thing is, this actually, there's an airspace in between that, plus then friction will hold this into your window. So you just, these are you know, perfectly sized, so you just put this into your window, friction holds it there, and this is gonna give you an air pocket behind the insert, and an air pocket in the insert, and I'll tell you, I put these in my house and the drafts disappeared. You know, it's wonderful. And then we put these little tabs down here so it fits perfectly into your window. And you can, at the end of the season, you use these to pull it out of your window if you want to. So it's a really, it's incredibly simple, but incredibly effective. So how many of these have been ordered uh, by folks around the North Shire? Well, in the North Shire, we have 263. And I think in the South Shire, like 257, so between the two of us, last year we did a, our first year of project together, and we did about 400 inserts for North Shire and South Shire together. This year it's more like 525 inserts. So, and a, and a heck of a lot of, you know, we we do them for some, like the, early, the, the American Legion was nice enough to let us do the build in their place, so we're actually making some inserts for them. But one of the things, you know, last year we did a number of inserts for organizations like this. One thing I really love is this year we got more and more inserts just for people, you know, living in the towns, residents of all of our towns around here. And so these are going into people's homes. And one really cool thing that, <clears throat> that's a part of this project is there are some folks who really need these but would have a, have a tough time uh, affording them. And so we fundraise window dressers fundraise um, so that we have the ability to about a quarter of the inserts that we built are going to people who are getting them for free. It's basically if you really have a financial need like that we'll make it work for you. So that's, that's a 
a great element of this because those are the people who really get all the benefit out of it. So someone who uh, might want to order one next year, how do they go about it? Well, the this year we started in the spring taking orders and orders cut off um, in the middle of September so that we could get everything ready to do this build. So we'll be probably starting out next spring again. If you're interested or if you have a neighbor who, who's done this and is saying these are great, you should get them, um, plan on next spring ordering through, you can go to the Window Dressers website, windowdressers.org, or if you know any of your energy committees, you know, energy committees in, in you know, Arlington, in Sunderland, Dorset, Manchester, Bennington, North Shaftesbury, etc. Go to the, all those all those energy committees that came together to put this on. So if you know somebody on your local energy committee, go to them and ask them about it. In addition to building the inserts to save people money on their heating bills, which also helps reduce carbon emissions, several volunteers and homeowners who ordered the inserts and helped out building them often mention the satisfaction of working together to do something useful and economical, sort of like a modern-day community barn raising. A win-win-win, in a way. For the GNOW TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.